Hello and welcome to another FS19 mod review. This time we're taking a look at these Land Rover Defender 90s in both County Station Wagon and Commercial Hardtop variation. So they are not perfect um, if you look in the log. It'll give you a fair clue on that one. But all the errors what are showing up there to do with colours. Um, I'll point out something to do with that in the shop. And there are some problems with colours on here, but other than that, they look okay. Okay, they lack a bit of detail in some places, and they are wrong inside in a couple of respects, but uh, if you play third person, that's not going to make a lot of difference to you. So on the end here, we've got the uh, one as it comes, which I've put in metallic red. Comes on the old freestyle alloy wheels. I do lack detail beneath but uh, you'll have to look hard to see that or flip it upside down which is easy to do. And I can quite easily give you a demonstration of that one. So these are based on the 1997 ones so in that respect it's got the wrong reversing light that should be square. A bit oversized as well. We've then got this one here which has got an A bar two LED light bars on it, this one just having the bull bar. Next one along has roll cage, snorkel, light bars and a light guard along with in this case boost alloys, Rostiles and in the metallic blue one here I've put several options on here so two light bars, snorkel, A bar, roof rack. Uh, the roof rack has jerry cans, spade, axe and a few other bits and pieces on them. That's got BF Goodrich mud terrains on chrome alloys. There are options for side steps as well as you can see. Got a side step there or the uh, standard Land Rover issue there. They're the station wagon ones and then on the end here we've got the uh, commercial variation which I'll put the wagon type wheels on again or eight spokes with the mud terrains in a metallic dark red with black roof which I know on the later ones was a uh, option ok you see the light creeping through various bits on there they're not the best put together but they're passable and we have got vents missing from the sides there as you can see for anyone that knows Land Rovers I did used to run several of these over the years so we'll hop into the blue one. Take a look inside and you'll immediately see why I said there's something wrong. Automatic gearbox with two gear levers. A there's no auto option and B you've got two gear levers. Um, dashboard basic. A few little errors in it. Yes it's got aircon type dashboard in here. If we go to start it up, there's no working light in the dashboard. If I just come outside again and we go around the lights, we do have side lights on the front and rear, front headlights, the light bars, indicators brake light and reverse light. So a bit of weird sound going on here, which you'll hear as we drive up the road with it. Be very careful not to turn these over. There's no collision on the, anything above bonnet level. So it will sink completely into the ground. I'll let you work out how I found that out. Tow ball is a bit undersized, but uh, functions. So I'll take this for a tow and see what happens. So the sounds are quite weird as you can see they just about disappear.
we'll go inside as we come back with this. We'll have a look at the commercial version. Because the speedo does not work at all well in this. Far too quiet for a defender. The speedo there is saying sort of 30. If I bring this up, it's a little bit out. But these are nice mods nonetheless, just lack a bit of detail here and there. Is back in the spot. I'll go around the commercial one. So we've got no needles on fuel or temperature gauge there. It's a commercial one, which we hop inside. All cleaned out, but no rear bulkhead. Again, auto transmission. We've got a few lines there from uh, where it's created as well. Right, externally, again, side lights, front lights, light bulb on the top. There is an optional one for the middle at the bottom as well. Indicators, brake lights, there's no problem with them even with the lights on, and really reversing light. So take this one for a tow as well. These are better when, than when they first came out. So no issues with hooking up. But we'll see if I can give you a demonstration of the collision for this. easily do things with these. Last time I got to roll over I went over here. So they just disappear completely into the ground and there you can see the lack of detail beneath in many respects. So no collisions from the uh, ground up there. Attachment issues with the wheels as well, but of course you can't see that when it's the, the other way up. That's where this comes in. So it just needs the collision sorted really. These aren't bad mods to be fair, the issues can be overlooked on them, it depends on your playstyle really, as much as anything. Get this back down to the shop and we'll have a look at these in the shop. Gotta love farm sim physics sometimes, how it behaves. So there's our two different examples. Yes, the glass is a bit iffy as well in them. But nice nonetheless. So as we head into the shop now, 
gonna find them under cars so 45,000 they're not uh, the cheapest see straight away if you pick the wrong colors they do not look nice at all so we've got their bull bar a bar light guards back to bull bar then we've got snorkel which comes with the two light bars one light bar two light bar at the top there both the light bars roll cage light bars snorkel then we've got all the previous with the roof rack then everything then back to none stock side steps or running board type freestyle boost Ross styles missing configuration of steel wheels and the wagon wheels which I think have to be my favorite there so color choices really you can see they don't work first one does but the one for the back isn't functioning so this is where there's an issue certain ones will work up the back there but not all of them so just pick and choose carefully on your wheel choices the main rim color ones do function just the one on the back which doesn't Design colour is your roof, so you could uh, do as you so wish with that. And there's no shortage of colour options, as you could see. I should do the whole thing in uh, black, if you so wished. It's just a shame that that one... can't change the colour of which is where the error is showing up when you come up into here so I haven't been configured properly as you can see just unfortunate there's something which could probably be easily fixed but you're looking at sort of 52,000 plus for this we've then got the commercial variation which on the front here we've just got that bull bar the A bar or half bull bar as they call it with the light bar there light guards back to bull bar LED bar 1 bar 2 and both no snorkel option same side step options and we've got the free stalls, boost, ross stalls, missing steels and wagon wheels again Again with this one, same issue with the back wheels there. So, same colour choices. So, anything you want in there, you could quite easily pick the colour to suit. So, there we go. That is our Land Rover Defender 90. So for now I'll say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again in the next one. Goodbye for now.